Hi! Guess what? The day is here. The day when I finally show you all the changes I made to my van. But first, let me show you where I am because it's such a cute little place. So, this is a little place called Fortuna Pond. I think it is actually just a branch of the Colorado River. And, uh, but it's great. It's BLM land, so you can stay here for up to 14 days. There is beluga and some other campers. So you can be under the trees or you can be directly on the uh, shoreline and get some sun. And because it's winter, the sun is not too hot. So I'd rather, I'd rather be in the shoreline. So let's talk about what I will, I have for you today. The idea of changing everything in the van was, as I said, the rug was dirty and old. The plastic dresser from Ikea, from Ikea, from Walmart was coming apart. And I thought, okay, I do have the two back seats that maybe I can pop up and I can put the mattress in the same position, side to side, on the seats and use the space where the seats go in, the stow and go, as storage space. I thought that could be great. It didn't work. And let me tell you what I did. I, I, I got to Parump, which I ended up really enjoying in spite of the fact that the town is not attractive um, it is super convenient so i went to Paramp. i got a big tarp i took everything out of the van and i pulled up those two seats the seats are so inclined so if this is the back of the seat the seat itself is very inclined it is not horizontal, it is super inclined. So I had to put something in that uh, space to hold the mattress in a horizontal way. But it was impossible because the, the length is not enough, the width of the van is not enough. But also uh, the angle was so pronounced that once the mattress was on top of the air, there was no room for me. I mean, it was really high. I mean, of course I would have fit there, but my nose would have been touching the ceiling, which doesn't make any sense. It feels like you're in a storage yourself. So <laughs> I didn't like that. Plan B was putting the bed again from the, from the back of the driver's seat along the, the length of the van and leaving the one seat up to have kind of a, a little armchair to sit in, to sit on when you are parked somewhere, you have a little sofa there, not a sofa, but you know, a little armchair. It didn't work either because they're extremely uncomfortable. Some people told me, what if you had some lumbar support Yes, but I don't like to add things. I, I like things when they work. If I have to stay uh, changing things and adding more things, I stop being a minimalist and uh, I become a, a slave of those things. I don't like it. So the chair was really uncomfortable. So that plan of using the chairs in one way or another went down the drain and using the storage where they usually are was not an option anymore. I got trapped! 
gosh, I cannot get out of bed. It's just too tidy here with with this like this. Ah, uh, help! So, I knew I wanted to change the um, the brown plastic cabinet that I had from my uh, from Walmart. So I went to IKEA and I got a rug that was not expensive. I got this uh, duvet with an insert that was not expensive. And I got two nightstands that were not expensive. And I will show you what I did with those. The duvet, uh, in IKEA, they have four or five different uh, types of inserts for their duvets. From very, very light to extremely warm. And they are shown with little thermometers. So you have a little bit of warmth, some more, some more, or a lot. I went for the a lot. Because again, I like to sleep between the sheets. I like to cover myself with a duvet. Remember, I am a full timer. I live in this van and this is my home. So I feel having a, a camp a arrangement like sleeping bags and things like that, that is not an option for me. I don't want that. I want something that resembles my home. And I am forgetting, um, I am going to show you that now before I forget. So this is my duvet, extremely warm. I don't need anything else. If it is really, really cold at night, I may go for a, some layers of pajamas. Can you see how dark it is now with the window protectors from WeatherTech? Um, again, that piece of foam there, the Eva foam there, is going to be part of a project, so sorry it is in the way. But have you noticed I don't have the curtains anymore? I don't need them because these protectors are so very well made. Mine were coming in pieces and they shrunk and everything. These ones are amazing. So now I don't need the curtain because it's impossible for anyone to see in and I feel my space is bigger because it is not divided by a curtain. Ta -da! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> now, now I can get rid of my curtains because the whole thing is dark enough. Yay! Let's go take a look at the back. Well, I will show you a little bit before there. There are my two nightstands from Ikea. The one closest to the bed needs a little leveling. I am going to go to Home Depot tonight to get some, some of those uh, little supports you have uh, under a sofa or something like that. And uh, I cannot tell you how happy I am with this. Let me show you more. So first of all, I had to do a lot of changes to the floor of the van. I didn't want to change the floor and add wood or anything like that. But there are some rings that hold the seats and those ones they really hurt your knees or your feet. So I filled them up with rubber.
And finally, I attached a last piece, so in total it was three of them, with a little groove that I carved so it holds or goes around the hook. If the tile is there, I cannot feel the hook underneath. I am very satisfied with the results. Even though it doesn't look very regular, it works amazing. So that was the first step. Second step was finding a little thing to put under my toilet, just in case there is a leak or something. Because you know, we go up and down mountains and the pressure sometimes make them leak. Even if it is just a drop, you can smell that. Well, now my new rug is protected. That is the lid of a tub. The, the tub I didn't need, but the lid is the perfect size for the toilet and some cleaning things I have there. Um, like the spray I use for the toilet. I don't have my fridge anymore, but that is going to be part of the electrical uh, video that I am preparing. I still have my Jackery 500, but huge changes have been made. I have a way smaller fridge. There is a nice story behind that change. And let's go back to this other side. When I am traveling, I hold this ones like that. So these, I really strongly recommend these bungee cords. I will put a link in the description of this video because they are amazing. They are made of fabric. The points are made of hard plastic so they don't scratch anything. And I put two of them together across the line of the first drawer. That stops the first and the second drawer from opening. And on the other side, the other side of the bungee cord is tied up to one of the bed's legs. So that is not moving anywhere. And what I have inside of these drawers is here I have my frying pan and my chopping board and my knife, all those things I may need to cook when I am out here. In the second drawer I have spices and salt and containers of all kinds. It is a little messy now but there is a lot of things there, tea and garlic and all those good things. And there is room for a lot more. In the first drawer, I have some cleaning products and things like that. And as you see, there is room for a lot more. And let me show you what I have on the other one. This is how I get in the van every day. It is the one minute where you have to struggle a little bit because you, you only have a tight space behind the passenger seat and the bed to climb. Leave your shoes there because my shoes don't come in here on this other side of the bed. And then just flip your legs over 
to this side. And for those who have a good memory, I, I said it from the first day I put the bed like this. To me, the most important thing is to be able to have this space in front of me. Now that I have these little tables, I am even more comfortable and super happy because this is my nightstand. I can even cook here if I need to. The surfaces are uh, like, it's wood, but it's plasticky. So, but it looks good. So it is very, very good quality, excellent design. Every little detail is perfect. The drawers, let me see if I can show you that. In each drawer, there is a, li a little screw inside of the drawer with a little piece of plastic that you put at the very end of the assembling process. And that, I was thinking, why do I have to put that little screw there that doesn't do anything? Well, it actually, do it actually does a lot because the drawer can only open up to there that little screw holds the drawer from falling off that to us is an amazing thing so on this first drawer i have my coffee and some other little things my necessities uh, my stevia with english toffee flavor i will put a link to in the description because it's amazing uh, look Debbie, I still have the, the little towels here because I use them only on the special days. I love them. My stevia. And then on the second drawer, I have t-shirts of all kinds. And on the bottom one, I have all my bottoms. So, and here, between the bed and this nightstand, I have a regular cushion filled with my pajamas and a dress. Those things that I don't use every day, but that help keep this one in place so it doesn't slide all the way back here. So it keeps that space between the bed and the nightstand without bothering me. That little difference there, that little difference is going to be fixed tonight when I raise the, the ends of the nightstand and uh, I will show you the photos. So from here, I can access absolutely everything in there. I have my little burner here and a big bag of laundry. So today I have to do laundry. I have my teeny little hammock that was originally for fruit, but since I started keto, now different odds and ends go there. And the piece of foam you saw in, in the front, in the front seat, that is going to cover this little hole here. So the first drawer has a little hole there. And I am going to glue some of that foam here so my little things that are here don't fall on the inside of the cabinet when I am driving. Other than that, I am super happy with these ones. And this is my memory lane. Uh, you know Beluga, you know Debbie's cranes and Kim's pieces of art. My daughter who made me a bookmark that I'd rather have there it, it, that says we are a coincidence full of intention so yeah I think that it's a it's a 
a quote from Eduardo Galeano, an, an author from my country. Um, a little black cat with a scroll, a little message my friends Sara and Maga gave me. And uh, some things that my, oh, the, the card Sherry gave me. Thank you, Sherry, for the special Christmas card. And some things my grandkids have made for me. Look at this one. I mean, this one draw the whole planet and a minivan on top of the planet. What about that? I love that concept. And Leon's yellow heart, Inti's red double-decker. It would be amazing to be able to drive a double-decker as a home, but I, I bet gas mileage would be a killer. <laughs> so I moved to a shaded area to finish this one because I have to add a couple of comments. Of course, you know I always have some more comments. And I know I will probably forget some things. Please let me know if I do. Remember, there are links to everything I showed you today. There are links in the description. Those window protectors by WeatherTech, I am loving them. When I put them with the shiny side out, they really stop the heat. I don't know if it's going to be the same good protection in the middle of summer, but now in winter, um, if I am to, if I go to the library, for example, and I stay there making videos or something else for two or three or four hours, when I come back, the van inside is not as hot. It is hot, but you could sit in there without suffering too much. So it really keeps the inside of the van at a much lower temperature. And when you remove them from the window, uh, the shiny side of them is hot to the touch. So it really, really works. And um, that contributes, and we are going to talk specifically about that, that contributes to the fridge not going crazy and therefore the jaggery not having to feed a crazy fridge. It really protects the inside of the van. And I am always thinking of my supplements. I take uh, fish oil and vitamin B and all those good things. And I don't want them to be inside of a very hot vehicle because they degrade. I mean, then you are taking something that is probably dangerous. So all my inhalers for my asthma, everything is now protected by not having an inside that is as hot. On the other hand, nobody can see in, so they don't know if I am there. Therefore, they are not going to try to break in, I guess. Um, they, they cannot see what I have inside. I love it. I am loving it. I don't have the curtains anymore. Yay! <laughs> they were kind of annoying. They were always in the way. I just recently met a super nice lady. Uh, she was in a parking lot and I saw she was a van lifer in a minivan, exactly like mine. So I approached her and I said, hello. And she turned around like, what do you want from me? I said, First of all, we are colleagues, I sleep on that one. So I pointed at Beluga and we started a super nice conversation. She, and she gave me an excellent piece of advice for anyone who has the weather techs. Um, the windshield piece is so huge because the Grand Caravan has a, an enormous windshield. So the protector for that one is so big that she doesn't use it because i always say when i am putting mine in one day i'm going to decapitate myself it's it's really a struggle but it's excellent what she did with that 
is she cut it in two and with those halves she made extras for the back windows uh, so she cut them to the same exact shape of the other ones and put some duct tape around and now she has spare ones so for anyone who may have one of those and may find it uncomfortable and I am thinking of my friend Deb she may be able to cut out uh, some spare ones for the back windows she actually lost two of them so now Deb you know where to take them from but it's I think it's a great piece of advice if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel I hate to have to say this every time but it's funny how I see many people watching the video but just for a few minutes and I promise I tried to give you all the tips you may actually need if you're considering becoming a nomad coming from an actual full-time nomad so not that I think I am that big of a deal but uh, I have been through thing and, and thick and I can tell you what works and what doesn't so thank you for being here thank you for my to my amazing patreons because they are amazing they they really help me a lot with as little as a dollar a month it's okay it helps believe it or not and there is a link in the description and then at the end of this video in case you consider to become a patreon and as i said there are different tiers and for as little as a dollar a month you can be helping me thank you so much have a great day i'm going to town